All right. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Heather and on this channel we like to walk a very fine line between a shopping addicted makeup monster and a responsible adult with a makeup hobby. Now I really enjoy eyeshadow singles, duochromes, chromes, multi chromes, blush, highlight, lip gloss, basically everything except pressed glitter and today we're going to be talking about the bundle of new palettes that I have for the month of February. So if that sounds like something you're interested in stick with me we're getting into it right now. Okay and if you saw my uh, January or introduction video you understand a little bit about this project but briefly I have a ton of unused palettes in my collection and my goal for this year is to get through using all of them I have given myself permission to buy whatever other things come across that I am super excited about but I need to be able to use them in the month that I receive them so the pressure is on to actually get some use out of these palettes and for the month of February well, for all the months, I have my little spreadsheet, right? I've been hanging on to it for dear life. And for the month of February, I pulled out a bunch of stuff that I thought was kind of like cutesy, cutesy stuff. So we're going to talk about all that right now. Each month I am including a face palette because I do have 12 unused face palettes in my collection. So for this month it is the Arthurine blush palette and I just thought this was such a pretty nine pan palette and I walked away from this palette several times and then it went out of stock and they were like, yep, it's gone forever. They did a brief restock and I was like, now's my chance. And I remember standing in the grocery store literally almost purchasing it and then I was like, no, you don't need it. Just you have blush. And then it went out of stock again and I was really sad and I was like, okay, maybe I do want it. And then I saw this one unused pop up on Mercari. The only thing it didn't have was like the outer sleeve, which I don't care about. Um, and I was like, it's unused and it was cheaper than the actual palette. I think I paid like 30 bucks plus maybe six or seven dollars shipping. So I was super excited to get this in. I am very, very much excited for the fact that this has kind of some unusual tones in it, like the goji shade, although it's not my typical vibe, that mustardy blush. That's a very unusual blush color. I love the cloudberry and dog rose. Like I think those are going to be very flattering on my skin tone. And then these sort of like cool toned purpley lilac shades, I think are going to look so pretty. So very excited to give this a try throughout the month. Then next up, I finally want to get into the Zodiac Love Signs palette. I have the original Zodiac and Zodiac Love Signs. I have never touched this palette, so I really need to dig in and start using it. I think there are some very pretty colors in here. I like the teal shades that are in here. Of course, you've got some beautiful pinks in here. This warm tone section is probably not going to be heavily used by me. We all know that, but I think everything else in here I could give some, some love to. And I tried to pick out some things that kind of gave me like Valentine's Day vibes, right? Whether it's like packaging or um, the actual color story or what have you. Um, so I did include the Clarity Cosmetics Lily palette, of course, because Valentine's Day says flowers, right? And this definitely has some kind of like pretty pinky, purpley type shades. Although we also get some browns and then some greens here. I'm excited to give this one a try. I have really come to like the Clarity formula, um, although it's a little bit of a dry formula I still think it's very workable so I'm excited to give this one a try during February and this is tough because this is a short month so this is gonna be like work on my part I think I did try to include a neutral palette in each of the months as I was divvying out on my original list like I tried to make it so it wasn't like all the same color story all month long because I thought that would get kind of boring so the neutral palette that I picked out is chocolate martini because that kind of is like romantic right sort of um, and that's this palette here again it's a little bit warmer but there are some kind of like pinker toned shades in here and then I thought this shade looked very very enticing it's part of the reason why I picked up the palette in the first place plus it was on super clearance I think I paid like nine bucks for this so not a huge financial crush on my part but I'm excited to give it a try then I did also pull the Sydney Grace Enduring Love palette, which I think is a really pretty color story. I have mine in the round pans. I think they originally were in square pans, and I actually aesthetically like the square pans better for this color story, but I'll make the round pans work because at least I got the color story in the first place. Um, these shades here, of course, I think are super pretty. I like that you have a lot of cool mattes here, like cool toned mattes, and then I like the addition of kind of the silver and more like the champagne taupey sort of antique silver here. It has a little bit of a different undertone than, than this one being so gray, so I'm really looking forward to giving this one a try finally. So I think I picked that up during their summer Christmas and July sale this past year, so it's time to use it. Oh, we'll talk about this one next. 
So the other Glam Light palette that I pulled for this month is this little Red Velvet Cupcake palette. And I added this to one of my orders ages ago because I could basically pay like $10 for this and get free shipping or I could pay $10 for shipping. So I was like, I might as well just go ahead and pick this up then. Um, so I did go ahead and get it. I mean, it's very pink toned, right? There is one red, red shade, but everything else, else in here is pretty pink. I'm not sure that this is going to be like my all-time favorite Glam Light palette, but it's definitely colors that I do like. And of course, I think the packaging is super cute. So I'm looking forward to giving it a try anyway. And then of course, what would Valentine's Day be without some candy, right? So I did pull the Juvia's Place candy shop palette and I have a handful of pastel palettes and this is one of them so I figured for this month this would be a nice palette to go ahead and pick out it's got some beautiful pinks in it um, but I really want to try out some of these other dual chromes like this kind of minty blue oceanic kind of color and then you've got the deep blue up here this shade has a really strong like blue green shift on a pink base so I think those will be fun to play with I have played with this shade once before but I would not say playing with one shade in the palette is sufficient to kind of say I've like played with the palette so it's on the docket for this month the other um, category that I have a lot of is like olivey green type palettes. So I did add the nude ego palette which I picked up from TJ Maxx. Love they put the sticker on the front cover and it looks like this. I thought this would be a nice little one I could probably try out in like a day or two and just give a try to these colors and see what I think of them. Again, I think these shades are a bit similar, so I'm not sure how that's going to play out actually on the lid, but I do think it's, it's a cute little six pan. And then I have the Game Beauty Cyberpunk palette as well. This one doesn't really have like a Valentine's Day vibe, um, but it does have kind of some nice bright colorful shades in here. When I picked up this palette, I had ordered it, I was at work and I ordered it, and then I want to say a day or two later I saw somebody do a review video of it and they really didn't like it and that kind of poisoned me towards even trying the palette which is not good so I've kind of made an effort to if I'm gonna buy a palette and I know I'm gonna buy it to not watch the videos until I get a chance to try it personally because I don't want their views to sort of spoil my thoughts about it so um, I want to give this one a try finally and see do I like it or do I not the next one is the Beauty Bay Metamorphic palette and this was kind of my holdover from the winter color stories, right? Because this is definitely like very... This is my holdover from the winter color stories because this is definitely very like wintry vibes. You only have a few mattes in here but a lot of really beautiful metallics so I'm hoping I can kind of blend this in with some of the other palettes that I'm trying out this month um, and get use from a bunch of the different metallics in here to see what I really think of it but Beauty Bay I have known and loved their formula so unless they made some drastic changes for this palette I'm sure I'm gonna love it. One palette that I'm kind of like I don't know on um, is the sea color fairy tale palette. So this sea color fairy tale palette is the dupe for the clover palette from Too Faced, and I remember the clover palette as being like more vibrant, but I never did actually pick that palette up. So it may just be my warped memory that is making me think that. But this sort of mossy green was appealing to me, and this black with the blue pinpoints in it was appealing. I like the sort of like pinky shades here and the blue. So I may still give this a try, but if I decide not to try it, I may just go ahead and put it off to the side of my declutter pile to give to somebody like unused. Um, because if, if I'm not going to use it even in this scenario where I'm trying to get use out of everything, then I should just pass along to somebody else. So the next one to talk about is the Glaminatrix Rich Romantic Palette. And who doesn't want a rich romantic at Valentine's Day? Am I right? And the palette looks like this. I was very drawn to this color story when I first saw it, but then I tried to talk myself out of it saying like, you know, you have a thousand pink palettes. And if you haven't seen my video talking about my pink palettes for Valentine's Day, you will see 22 of them. That is not my full collection, but that is a lot of pink palettes. So did I need another one? No. But they did a birthday sale I think it was a birthday sale they did a 30% off sale and this was in stock at the time so I was like if I'm gonna get it I better get it now while it's 30% off so I did go ahead and pick it up and I'm actually really excited to have this palette in my color in my uh, collection um, this sort of warm toned brown here I don't care too much about but I think these like olivey greens are gonna be very pretty and then you've got this nice kind of like electric olive duochrome shade here i like the purples that are in here this peach coral shade it kind of sticks out a little bit 
um, but everything else in here I think looks really pretty so I think this is gonna be a fun one to play with and then last but certainly not least because I almost jumped the gun on this video so that I could film a video with this palette is the cosmic beauty gothic palette now this matte on glossy black packaging so pretty and then the color story inside looks like this very vibrant purple color story you've got like basically one neutral here everything else is really bright and intense and i'm excited to give this one a try i think this is going to be a really fun palette to use this month so it's probably going to be the first one off the stack as soon as it rolls over to february and i think that's all of the palettes that i'm going to at least have as my goal to try out this month i do have a couple palettes that i have ordered but i don't know when they're coming some of them are pre-orders so hopefully they don't all come in at the same moment because february is a short month and that's going to be extra challenging to try to get through some of these palettes but look forward to some mini reviews coming on these palettes at the end of the month i want to thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe before you go and i'll see you in my next one bye